everybody, welcome to another Apple event here on the GFK Network. I'm Major Zarian. Today we're going to be covering the iPad 2 launch event, uh, iPad 2 announcement event, and whatever else is getting announced. We don't know much about this other than the iPad 2 and a uh, iPad mini, but we're going to go right into the event. But before we do that, I want to introduce my panel. Uh, with me, as always, is John Bubb from Tech News Weekly. You can follow him on Twitter at Suncast. How you doing, John? Which is short for Santiago Castro. Santiago Castro, your new name. <laughs> uh, follow him on su- follow him on Twitter at Suncast. You could also check out Tech News Weekly each and every Friday on the GFK Network at 3 p.m. East. Of course, also, uh, Mr. Culmination himself from the T4 show, Josh Coleman. At Culmination on Twitter, someone's sister's a big TV star, huh? Uh, not yet. Just a couple of weeks away. Everyone have your channel on CBS Thursday nights. Yeah, uh, Josh is with us. And uh, for the next hour or two, we're going to be talking about it. all the things getting announced here uh, at this event. Uh, so why wait? Let's go right into it. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Sure. Tim Cook is out on stage. There we go. Thanks, everyone, for joining us this morning. It's been an incredible year and tremendously busy already. But we've got a few more things to share with you before we close out the year. As you saw from the video, we had an amazing reception to the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus launch. The stores were absolutely... By the way, I meant iPad Air 2 when I meant iPad 2. No better place on I'm a couple of years behind. <laughs> These phones are the best phones All right, this is the part where they just um, pat themselves yeah. on the back and they give us numbers. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to make a comment about the bending issue. It doesn't get any clearer or any better than this review... From one of the industry's preeminent oh, well, who would have thought? Well, oh, who would have thought? Said simply, it's the best smartphone on the market. You can't hope for better than that. And it's one of the best. Now, with great reviews and the great customer response, it's no wonder that these iPhones have become the fastest-selling iPhones in history. And. The first 30 days, we have set a new. Let's see what the record is. For what do you think it is? Mo- most orders taken. 500 billion. And I don't mean by a oh, little. 10 mil. By a lot. No, they sold 10 million in, in a weekend. Oh, first month. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 100 billion? Our rollout around the world is going well. In fact, by the end of this week, Dude, did one designer we'll make all the flags? Two countries. <laughs> Probably. And just in a few hours from now, we will launch in China. Woohoo! With support for TD LTE and FDD LTE, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus customers will have access Dude, at least they to can pay us for uh, fastest networks some American on products. all three like major networks. This is the very first time we've launched a new iPhone on all three networks, and we're doing it perfectly aligned to the early stages of China's huge 4G rollout. Oh, really? I didn't know that. be more excited about this, and I would tell you that the pre order Yeah, it's actually a really big deal for China. Might, They've, yeah, uh, huge. They for whatever record. reason, really gotten on the iPhone bandwagon lately. Get started. Yeah, because if you know, and most What's people when they tell me they go to China, that says like What's going on government here? 3G or yeah. something when you want to connect. And all of the reviews and the customer response. This is our biggest iPhone launch. No yet. number though. I thought we were going to number. Now, do any of us here have the new iPhone? No. I, I, I've always said I will never own an iPhone as my daily phone. I'm already engulfed in the iOS experience, so I don't want to um, kind of take over every device. Home you know, doesn't have the new the iPhone? No. None of us. Wow. Um, by the way, I think and Apple Pay is not going to be as successful as we think now. I, I, you I think, know what? I don't think either. I think a lot of people now, like I've been approached by people that um, – are not really following the tech stuff, and they're blown away by the concept that you could take your phone and just like right. swipe it and, and buy something. And I'm t- I tell them all the time, I'm like, this has been around for years. Just Plus, nobody's using it. 
What about well, the stores he, that are not all in on it? That's the problem yeah. they're having. Exactly what I was going to say is that um, initially this is not going to be a, a success right out the gate. It's going to be something that you know will take a year or two to really get off the ground until oh, everybody five. starts getting on on the bandwagon here for Apple Pay, because this is something that stores have to convert over into being able to support, and not every store support this. Look, it's here's the biggest problem with the, time with the money. logos are showing. See, you know what logo's not there? What? Well, Disney's logo's there, but walmart's logo is not there and that is where they will fail if they do not have walmart and, and you so. also have best buy saying that they're not going to support apple pay nope. so the fact that you actually have companies saying that they're not going to support apple pay is a big issue because this is something that you need to support regardless you yeah. have to support something like this for it to actually be worthwhile and it's pretty simple find those pair of beats headphones you want look he's still trying to boom, sell it you've bought them so about buying it online. I've been wanting these a long time. And well, look, all Andrew stores are there. Air Postal, Urban We've got Outfitters, a lot of people American behind Eagle. us here as well. A lot of great. Uh, Every place I don't shop at. Great developers. <laughs> and as you might guess, since last month, many more people have committed to roll out between now and the end of the year. So See. we believe Apple Pay is going to be huge. It's going to change the way we pay for things. No and I'm excited to announce today that we are beginning on Monday. So it's coming out Monday. I hope, I hope there's not any bugs with it. Yeah. Do you notice also they have some gas stations there? I believe Texaco and Chevron, no Exxon yeah. or Shell. Yeah, you know what? None of those, none of the Texaco, uh, Texaco and uh, what was the other one? Chevron are not in my, not in New York City or, or very limited in New York City. Like John just said, it's all going to be about the, the stores that people go to. If they're not there, who's going to use this? But it also has to be convenient. Here's the watch. Ugh. Every time I look at it, I don't like it even more. It's not attractive. No. The, no. Just having those little round icons. That, that, it's can not we, pretty. Can we get some pricing on this thing? Five grand. <laughs> Fine. Even more than I do. I mean, I know what we know what the base model is, but what about like the gold one that actually looks semi good? In fact, this month, the Apple Watch is on the cover of Vogue China. We are really proud of this. Five people it's, bought it. It's an incredible <laughs> image. So I, I hate to say this, but this almost reminds China. me of BlackBerry in now, the sense that where last Apple month, has saturated their markets that they have, like North America and uh, Europe, so much so where they're yeah. having to go to the Asian markets where they they haven't been as successful well, to try and But that's everybody, increase. John. Emerging market, China, China. Well, China's not really. Well, it is still an emerging market, but that you're talking about a ton of people that it's a new market. You're absolutely right. That they have not, I mean, it's new customers. That's what it's going to be about. For Microsoft, for Apple, for Google, for all these companies, it's not about us anymore. Yeah, the general consumer doesn't care about China, but these businesses nowadays really do. We, are, we can't wait to see what amazing see. experiences they'll come up with. Now, Apple Watch will be shipping in early next year, and every day I look forward to that day. <laughs> Oh, he really just, this is his product. This is the yeah, product. Th I mean, this is part of his legacy, so. Yeah. So that's some quick updates around iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus. All right, here we go. Uh, Apple Pay and Apple Watch. I think that's about as much time as they, they spend announcing the iPhone 6. An incredible yeah. <laughs> product lineup, one that I would call our strongest product lineup uh, look at that. ever. Each of these products are not only individually the best in class within its category but they've been designed to work seamlessly together i mean i sometimes just want him to totally and break character and possible. just be like hey microsoft hey google Damn. suck it and yeah. he drops the mic and he walks <laughs> away and then the and unveil then triple h and Shawn michaels come out yeah and, and then they kick everybody and that's why Today the logo's always been an X. Terrific updates uh, on both of these. By the way, and there was a Yosemite update, a uh, pre, like I think the, the developer, the whatever, the preview version. It was the sixth version of the beta that came out on Tuesday. So I'm my guess is that Yosemite is going to be available today for download. Really? I would say tomorrow. But okay. 
Well, iOS 8 has been out for just Who is this, the Ferengi? A month, and I'd like to give you a quick update. It's a guy with good hair. Now, iOS 8, he does course, have he's not a suffer. A major new operating no. system for iPhone, where would, iPad, John, where would you rank him on the Norwood scale? And the early reviews have been just um, let's get a closer look. I don't know if I would. I mean, he's probably a Norwood, too. <laughs> no, I mean, he's probably a Norwood, too. That's what I am as a two. And its ecosystem. But what's even cooler is just how many of Nick liked my Star Trek reference. At least someone it. did. You can see that in just <laughs> under four weeks, nearly half of iOS customers are running iOS 8. Now, if you consider that in combination with iOS 7, that means that 94% of iOS users are they in the Moscone Center? I forgot to check. No, no, they're at Just their uh, small the place. Last year, Looks real which small, means yeah. They're getting the latest features and all the latest security protections. Now, the situation. Oh, I noticed no uh, lollipop. Other mobile platforms is That's somewhat it. different. So, when you look at Android, for instance, the vast which, majority. Which we have to listen to this, or can we talk about the Nexus system, Six and Nine? It's more than two years old. Go for so it. If you focus just I mean, on KitKat, the they did a great release. job making it the same size as the iPhone 6 Plus, but a bigger screen. No, I mean, they've done a great job. Yeah. Of their user base. iOS 8 has nearly doubled that. I think it's interesting, in though, that they're actually giving numbers days. on the number of installs be for iOS 8, because 48% is actually down from last yeah. year. From, from last year with yeah. iOS 7. Yep. Now, what are they yes, saying? Yes, it's about? still a decent number, but. Not compared to last year. Things like tap to talk. And I do not believe that KitKat has only 25% install base. I really don't believe that. No, that is true. Suggestions. And family sharing. Josh, the, the, it's so, let me tell you, this family sharing thing photos, is all fakakta. Really? Because and the, the um, you can't do family sharing, or you technically can do family sharing on the iTunes match, but it totally right. screwed up where you can't. It claims that you can, but you can't. I didn't even do it because I did the one thing where we have one email address that's our store and we each have separate I, iCloud accounts and I'm not merging them. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Now, here's the other thing. This widget thing that they have in the notification it, it, yeah. is so useless. It is. I don't understand. Like, you have to go an extra step to do it. It doesn't make sense to me. Third-party widgets as well. And when yeah, it they've, they've sharing, been making a really big deal about widgets and extensions and... But also yes, there's a few a that might be decent, but for the most part, so I'm not getting anything really out of extensions system. and widgets. You can post Correct. Uh, Brother Devon had a great uh, thing. He said, why is Ric Flair at the Apple conference? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Where's Kevin Nash? He's always in here. Oh, I don't know. He's probably eating ravioli. It's not just an iCloud, right, let's hear this. but also in Box and Dropbox and just about any other box where you happen to put some files. Now... We also have support for third-party keyboards. So whether you Oops. like to type by swiping your finger all over the screen... Can I talk about this? ...enrich the life of your friend... Go ahead. All right, as an Android user who's used swipe and stuff, you can tap or swipe on an Android phone and it won't have a problem. For some reason, when you install swipe on an iOS device, you have to stay with the whole swiping gimmick because if you go to tapping, it starts adding periods after every word, and I don't understand I haven't, why. I haven't really that. used it that much. I haven't. Is, is that with the actual swipe app, or are you talking with any the swipe keyboard? keyboard? Like, the I keyboard. basically made it my default keyboard, and if I keep with it, it's great. Like, if I only swipe, but if I forget sometimes to start tapping, it, I get, like, periods after every word for some so reason. I have SwiftKey installed, and it works fine half of the time, mm -hmm. but the other half of the time, it either stops responding, doesn't come up, or no, it, you it swipe, just completely John. breaks. That'll fix it. You swipe instead of SwiftKey. Which is really annoying. Well, yeah. I, I also think these applications, I mean, technically, it's the first time they're on iOS. So they're true, it's going to be buggy and they're going to fix it. I can't. Or unlock your passwords in one password. You can do it with the security there, there's and the been a, of your fingerprint. There's been too many then, bugs, though, I think, this no. time around for quality yeah. control. This, this is reminding me a little bit more of the Apple Maps of debacle. Because I that was say, an absolute disaster. And here we are with iOS 8. And I think they've had way more tr trouble with iOS 8 in terms of bugs and quality control than they really should have. Because even just this week, they're saying that even though they're, they're launching HealthKit, they're actually still temporarily removing some of the features because of bugs. Yeah. I have to say the best feature that I like on the new iPhone is the slow motion camera. 
Have you guys used that? I have, and it, it's phenomenal. Oh, my God, it's phenomenal. Like, I'll have, my, yeah. I'll have JMav run across the floor and film it in slow motion, then he gets to see himself running. Yeah. He loves it. By the way, guys, <laughs> if you're tuning in, uh, generally, this is what we do. We comment over what's what's going on. Um, right now, they're just rehashing everything from the previous announcement. So when they start announcing, we'll, uh, we'll shut up and let the Ric Flair, young Flair man on stage talk. Um, I, I'm not, you know what's sick? My brother still has not received his one, uh, his, um, Are six plus. Are you kidding me? Nope. Wow. Yeah. Alyssa went in and walked in and we got it immediately. Uh, three days it came after it came out. <laughs> There's something going on with their audio. I hate the quality of their audio stream. There'll be many new Swift programmers being minted every day because major universe or universities have incorporated Swift into their programming curriculum to teach new students this awesome new wow, language. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That's a quick update on iOS 8. Well, thank you for that. Now let's turn our attention to iOS 8.1. Are they going to bring back camera roll? When we put oh my God, I've never seen them do this. Have you guys seen this before? Is 8.1 out right now? No, 8.02. 8.02, okay. <laughs> Okay, have you guys That's them no. improvement? Hold on, hold because on. Because one of our failure. major goals, Launch, of course, with iOS 8.1 is to address the top sources of customer feedback and, of course, to even bring back the beloved oh. camera roll. But not just that. Never save your We've photos added of the cloud, everyone. For you Apple were, Pay on you, iPhone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the public beta of iCloud Photo Library. So now everyone can have every photo you take on all of your devices. And this means that any organization you do or any edits you make on any device are instantly reflected on all of your devices. And this is true on your iPhone, your iPad, and you can even access your photo library on your Mac or on your PC via iCloud.com. Now, this isn't just your photos. It's also your videos as well. And they're in their original format and resolution. No downscaling. It's available in public beta with iOS 8.1, and it uses your iCloud storage. So your first five gigabytes are free. For just 99 cents, you can get 20 That's gigabytes off. That's more. And you can get a massive 200 gigabytes. It's actually a good price. For there. just 399. So that's you should get at least 10 for free. And a quick update on iOS. The one question I get from anyone now is, how do I get that message to, to go away that says I'm running out of space? Yosemite. Here we go. Hold on. So let's it was this. just this June that we publicly unveiled Yosemite to the world. The reception has been fantastic. We've had over a million. What's the over under on this? Today or, to or tomorrow? The Yosemite I say today, John. Beta. And the tomorrow. reception has been just awesome. We're all in love with the gorgeous new design of Yosemite. It's just amazing. It is. It is a nice OS. Has this I like gorgeous it. dock. I'm running it here. With these vibrant I am icons. It's so precise. This clean and consistent use of typography. Throughout the system. John, use the notification window. Notification center is more useful. Than ever. No, it's not. Let you get at all of your widgets just at a glance, including third widgets. party content. And Spotlight has been absolutely supercharged. So now, in addition to searching content locally on your Mac, it also taps into sources on the internet. Things like Maps and Wikipedia, just right there whenever you need them. And of course, all of the apps built into Yosemite have been completely revitalized with this new UI. So Safari, for instance, all the power of the world's most powerful browser are packed right world's into most that powerful browser. toolbar right there at the top. Interesting. If you want to get at all of your favorites, just tap in the address field. They're right there. Right and there. if you start typing, you don't just get Google search suggestions, you also get spotlight suggestions, which often provide the answer to your question without even completing the search. It's just really fast. Now, Safari's better at sharing than ever as well can share to system sources and through extensions to third-party sources as well, right within the app. So 21 Safari minutes, we've just gone also, over of course, love everything. Tabs. And so we have a great new tab view. Provides a bird. What's well, interesting, the, uh, what's interesting is that they Multiple spoke about 8.1, like really quickly, like, oh, 8.1 is going to be really good. They said they're bringing the camera roll back. Right there, oh. the yeah, I, I, I'm not crazy about that decision. I, I know a lot of people missed camera roll, but I'm like, 
they just changed the way you access your photos. Yeah. That's all they did. The, those photos are still there. It's not any more difficult to get to those photos. You look at our 13 inch MacBook Air. Yeah, I've heard about this. I heard that Safari is going to be pretty, pretty nice. I can't wait to see them put it up against Google Chrome and speed and stuff. Streaming three hours longer. Safari is just incredibly efficient. Oh, that's interesting. Now, Safari actually design extends of course. This new version is well, supposed to be great. Safari is very good on the Mac. Now, yeah. I mean, and I'm not a Safari user, but it is really quick and really efficient on the Mac. Look at this what they're adding to mail. That's really useful. Oh, the signature? Yeah, and uh, annotations and pictures as well, which is a fantastic way to communicate. Now, mail also now has mail drop. So you can send absolutely enormous attachments, up to five gigabytes. Yeah, I use this with Dropbox, which is the greatest thing ever. Messages has a beautiful new de design, excuse me, for Yosemite as well. And it has powerful features like named group chats, easy location sharing, and really convenient access to all the photos that you share in your conversations iTunes has been updated for Yosemite as well. It has a convenient new shelf across the top with all of your recent editions. I got to used to the new version of iTunes. It's not and bad. And there's iWork. I agree. It's the most popular. Still, it needs a new name, but suite across uh. all Apple devices, and it's got a great update for Yosemite. Yeah, not Mark and our trap said, design, yeah, because everybody wants a five gigabyte ever, attachment in their inbox. <laughs> on, uh, documents that you have under review. <laughs> Even update to numbers. Lots of power user features like the ability to transpose tables in a single step. And then there's Keynote with a customizable presenter display and these cool new text effects. It's really nice. Wow. Wow, well, here's some new uh, office app for teenager to use. Space. <laughs> the so final next, frontier. There's iCloud Drive. So with iCloud oh. Drive, you can store any file in the cloud. Okay. It's accessible right from the finder, right from the sidebar there, and you get access the application Dropbox, folders of all of the applications on your it's Mac. Actually, listen, it's that, it's everybody's doing it. It's necessary. It's necessary, but I think Dropbox yet, is the safest yeah. and most efficient However, service. Folders with I don't know about that. And then actually, they, they, they've had some issues the lately. Your iOS devices. I have faith. Mac, you know what, John? Why do you have to be such a Debbie Downer? Faith. Let Cone be happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like but Dropbox. I'm out facts here. Dropbox had that issue with their desktop yeah. application that deleted a so bunch of files, and then everybody got hacked. Wonderful new user features. Not me. Okay, in Yosemite. When are you getting this? Actually, what makes both Yosemite and iOS 8 so special is the way that they work together. Yes, right. they do. Now, working together is something we've been focused sort of on for years now, and at the center of it is Apple iCloud. Sure. Now it's almost stuff easy to that take we for expect them the way we can edit our content or update our calendar sort of to use oh. our Safari bookmarks, and we just know that it's going to be available to us across all of our devices. And now, with Yosemite and iOS 8, all of our documents with iCloud Drive and all of our photos and videos yeah, are not, Mark, I with agree our with you. Photo I still don't understand why there's not a tab finder experience. By the way, a uh, little shout out to Not Mark. Not Mark is the founder of Vaughn, Vaughn Live. Uh, if you're live streaming, uh, if you are a podcaster, live internet broadcaster, check him out. Vaughn Live. We stream on Vaughn. We've been streaming on Vaughn for a long time. Really awesome. Big ups, Mark Vaughn. But the area where I think we've really taken it over the top is with something we call continuity. Now, with continuity, your devices are aware of each other and allow you to work at any moment with the device that's right for that time. It starts with handoff, where you can work on one device and just pick up where you left off with just a swipe across the lock screen of another. And there's instant hotspot, so you can take advantage of the cellular Finally. data connection of your phone from your iPad or your Mac without even touching the phone in your bag. And there's the ability to receive text messages yeah, like this. on any device. So not That's just your great. iMessages, but also you can send and receive SMSs from any of your devices. And finally, you can also make and receive I, regular I don't telephone calls using your Mac as a speakerphone using your phone. What? Your in, the, phone. in the beta. It's Did you hear really he's just showing off? Yeah, but it, this was announced two years home, ago. I'd like to oh, give you a I demo just marked now. out? <laughs> you just marked out. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't... I don't have a, a, an oh, iPhone, well, but I have this on Jess's, and the, uh, I don't remember. Uh, continuity. Now, 
Uh, Tim has sent me a note um, here about doubling down on secrecy at Apple. We want to preserve the same kind of airtight security, or secrecy rather. Secrecy that, doesn't make uh, any makes sense a, to me. The announcements at an event like today, a, a shocking revelation to all of you. Um, <laughs> So I've been uh, tasked to create a new employee orientation presentation. Uh, and so I've been taking some photos around campus about some of our new uh, secrecy measures. We're tightening things down a little bit. So we see we're redacting they're some doing, things in they're the, doing uh, the menu. Now. Yeah. We don't want any, any leaks there. Yeah. Um, we've upgraded yeah, the door to Johnny's lab. They got Jimmy Fa uh, Fallon's and, you know, writer I for this segment. some of these photos because I think mm. I'd like to incorporate them in my presentation. Um, we're saving a step with the printer. It just goes straight it's into the dan, shredder. Dan, 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 it's actually funny. And of course, we've increased the number of lasers on the path to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's good. It's actually so funny. I can uh, incorporate this right here you're, in my presentation. You love it. I've got my cover slide here. And uh, this looks like a good place to add that new content. But you know, I actually yeah, have look at they have in their right heads. Here. And what's really great is with continuity, I can just pick up where I left off. You notice in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, my You're iPad kidding me. It's that live? There's no way, icon. though. I can just swipe up. It's going to be constantly and it takes me right to that using document. bandwidth. Well, I don't know exactly how this is working. The place where I was well, working. It, it so could it be right if you're on Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Wi open this up. So you're it's just like, we'll local that like a Dropbox my, uh, file. Photos here. I guess. Uh, let me try that again. There we go. There are my there are the fo uh, photos I just favored, and just to show you that this is all uh, completely live. Oh, okay, I'm it's go just back like Dropbox. Into uh, my photo library here. I'm going to favorite this last photo with the lasers. Give it a little heart, and you'll notice here shows in, up on the favorites. iPad, it just shows up automatically right there. Wow! Clap it. That's super cool. So let's let's just add that photo to my presentation. Oh. And you know, while I'm working on my iPad, did, did I, you my guys hear that? Be across the house. And if I were was to that see, you? Uh, an SMS, Calm? for instance, what? I could pick it up. Oh, here it is. What did you say that? that's super cool? Um, right here no, I did iPad. not say that. What, did you, you, nobody else heard that? No. I'm hearing rumor. shit. Uh, uh, well, these are usually have no merit at all. But I'll just check in this, new what this there. is all about. Apple spaceship, actual spaceship. Okay, well, funny. it turns out in this case, unfortunately, they, they did nail it. So um, this would By be the a good way, the, one the to add as a cautionary tale to my presentation. Is that, that a real site? Can you confirm? You know, I've got this beautiful Mac uh, right here, it says waiting for infinitescoop.com, so I think everybody's just going to it right now and overloading it. He knows the Mac is aware of what I've been doing. You see right down here. Can you confirm or deny that this is a real site? I can neither confirm nor deny. It's just magical. And, of course, I can get to my presentation as well. We see I have iCloud Drive Bingo. right here in the Finder. Let's and take a there's drink. my keynote folder. And of course, there's my presentation on secrecy at Apple. So I can open that up. And of course, it takes me exactly to where I was in the presentation. So let's um, add my picture for about uh, controlling By leaks. the way, I guys, you know, if you've noticed uh, over the last, I got two or three events, they're really pushing uh, so the, uh, the working on a Mac aspect. And, yeah. you know, I heard that and this, this is their way of kind of, in my opinion, because Windows 8 was such a disaster with enterprise, this is their way of kind of saying, like, hey, guys, we do everything you want us to do. We do this already, and we're better than Windows 8. Look, we got a desktop. This is their approach to this, if you know. Like, it's, it's actually really smart to do this. Hello. <laughs> is there chicken fresh? Uh, hi, Steven. It's Craig from Apple. Is there buffalo wing sauce spicy? I'm sorry. I don't recognize that name. <laughs> oh, oh, right. He's talking to you, Hello, uh, Stephen Hello, Red Colbert. Delicious. This is Granny Smith. Over. Is the squirrel in the basket? Roger Foxtrot <laughs> Thunderbolt <laughs> Retina Swift Lightning. Okay, the line is secure. Glad you called today. <laughs> I, uh, I have some critical feedback. I have some very critical feedback on the content of your presentation today. Now, can you only call I've someone who has an Apple phone? Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, Mac gosh. or, well, it has to be Mac or, or no, yeah, yeah. I just don't think it's big enough to capture how important my role is. Is there a record is. option there? I can't tell. Let me run this one by you. <clears throat> Hear me out. I don't think so. Supreme Allied Commander of Super Secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's I, I essentially calling them in the application which what application is that it says facetime it says face well you get the call is via facetime but this is 
<laughs> well, he's in the presentation app. Yeah, he's in the presentation application. Yeah, but if you see when he was tabbed over, it said face on the top left. Supreme Commander. You let him know? Uh, uh, who? <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean Chairman Honeycrisp. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I will let, I will let the Actually. chairman know. Is, wait, is that a Google knock? Now, uh, please, get back to work. Because you know what I see when I look at my wrist? Bugs. My wrist. Where's the watch? Chop, chop. I am Jones and from... Oh, I hear more of Tim Cook Legacy. Uh, I'll, I'll get right on it, Stephen. <laughs> All right. Over and out, Granny Smith. Over and out, Red Delicious. I mean, you can say what you want about this company and, and dislike them, but... I mean, Asus is not doing an event like this. No. I'm glad we were able to sort that out. It, it has its moments. So it has its weak we moments. Yeah. I have one more slide to work on my presentation here. Oh, an email update from Phil uh, about a new badging protocol. So check out this video. It really demonstrates Apple's commitment to badging excellence. Well, that's great. I'm going to drop that one in my presentation. You know, I'm sure it's a great video. So I, I'd like I've to I've never made now. a presentation really cool in my life. I have an Apple TV. <laughs> But I also think that's because I've never had a job in my, in my life. Uh, to my Apple TV. Are you special? Just like this. Um, do you think we're going to see anything with Apple and TV today, by the way? Project, or no? Uh, my Probably not. Uh, that way, so we can Probably enjoy not, I mean, I hope so. I mean, the whole thing is it's been way too long, right? That, that was their whole thing. So what's been too long? Or was it just irony that they just did an event and they're doing another one? I, I took it as that. You know, I ordered another Let's Amazon see, Fire so TV yesterday. It'll be uh, here today. There's our secrecy team. I love another that. One? Why aren't you ordering the Google TV? Box. The new uh, well, I have Nexus. One, I have one downstairs. I need one in the in the in our room because every time my kid wants to watch Netflix or something, I just want something um, easy. Question, Home. Why didn't you order the Nexus? The pre because today. I've been fooled by Google TV. How many times have they released a Google TV box? It's ridiculous. I'm not going there. The Amazon one is perfect. This thing is shot weird. Do you see that bar on the side? Yeah, what is that? I think they're just shooting the uh, screen. This is like so much comedy in an Apple event. I'm like shocked right now. 35 minutes. Like, they've paid a lot for all this, this writing, I feel like. I think you now have a full understanding of continuity. All right. So, so this is just a quick overview of the amazing new Yosemite release from its beautiful new design, powerful spotlight search, iCloud Drive. And it'll be available later today. Story, and, of course, these continuity features. Thank you. Oh, the now, you're going to pop. much, much more to Yosemite than I can possibly pop. cover today. Shh, shh. But the good news Let's is I don't have to because now all of you can get access to Yosemite on the Mac App Store. Today. Told you. You know what, Josh? I got two words for you. I'm right. I pop. You know what? It's available for free. Yeah. How about that for also free? Is one, which has its support for Apple Nobody Pay. clapped on that one? Um, also, I iCloud Photo Library and Hold on, continuity what is available for download this Monday. And wow. it's free as wow. well. Can we can all say the 8.0 was a Finally, total mistake. Finally, iWork, an update <laughs> for OS X, also for iOS, also available today, and also free. iWork is available today for free. Wow. That means these new that devices are going to be expensive. That is my quick update on iOS 8 and OS X Yosemite. Thank you. Back to you, Tim. Thanks, Craig. And now we'll finally get to something. The new iPads. It's really I'm great at. to have Steven on board. I hope he can do a better job than I've done on controlling those lids. <laughs> I'd like to now talk about iPad. He forgot what product. He, he didn't know the iPad name for a second. <laughs> it's this simple and magical device. Yep. Magical. There we go. Take a drink. It's always been <laughs> a unique blend there we go. of simplicity and capability. But while the iPad has been beautifully simple on the outside since the very first one, 
It has advanced technology it's just sometimes jam it's a little packed weird. on the yeah, Well, it's very weird. It's creepy. From Apple's oh. custom-designed powerful chips... I'm going to stab you. ...to the ultra-fast <laughs> Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity... ...to the incredible so like that one. FaceTime cameras. Uh. <laughs> the technology is jam-packed in this... It's the best tablet on the market. I don't... agree. There, there's nothing better than an iPad. Really. Everywhere you go. Agreed. And use all day long. I'm talking about a tablet. I'm not talking about an all-in-one, you know? Right. And more and more performance and more capability. Not like a Surface. IPad, no. Our customers and developers had begun You think they're really going to... I watched your show yesterday. You and Paul think they're going to have an answer to the and Surface. Now as you look around... I didn't say that. Paul said that. Okay, everywhere. fine. I think he's right. I think it's they'd be foolish not to. the way we work, the way we learn, the way we play. And it's transforming the way we communicate. With so many people using iPad for so many things in so many different places, it's not surprising that we've sold more iPads in the first oh my four years good Lord, the number. than we've sold at any product in our history. In fact, we've sold over 225 oh, that's million crazy. iPads around the world. Like, do you, do you understand that crushes the PC market? To, to put this in a little more perspective, if you look at the top four by volume PC manufacturers, the number of sales that they've done for the last 12 months and compare that to iPad. Love it, Novo, don't you? IPad I do. IPad beats them all. And this is their entire PC lineup, every notebook. Every desktop, every two-in-one, every all-in-one, every toaster refrigerator in one, all of them. This is pretty fantastic, and not by a little, but by a lot. But what's more important to us is that iPad has consistently been rated number one in customer satisfaction. This is what makes our hearts sing. And iPad Mini Retina has scored an unbelievable 100% customer sad. Oh, come on. Not one person is unhappy Not one with person. It. These numbers are, you just don't see these numbers in customer sad. And so why are so many iPad users so satisfied? We think it comes back to this unique blend of simplicity and capability. And the fact that you can do so many things on iPad and you have such a great experience doing it. At the root of this is that we have over 675,000 apps in the app store. I don't care about that number. There's 20 apps that people download. Of the big, beautiful we we on all iPads. get this whole apps thing now. And this yeah. is a huge we, we all know that they have the most apps. Everybody knows the bird this. said it well. That's one of the reasons why everybody is goes only with as good iPhone as and what iPad. You can do with it. And thanks to the hundreds of thousands of apps for the iPad Air, you can do more with it than any other tablet. I want them to quote this Paul. Was one of the reasons they <laughs> Paul the iPad This Air the iPad's not the gonna work. Tablet <laughs> Didn't they do that last time they quoted him? They put I his quote so. up. They did, yeah. right? You remember when yeah. they were talking about how he said that the iPad's not going to work? I think that was like two years it's ago. It's number one in education. It's number one in enterprise. It's number one in consumer. When we had, when we launched the iPad Air just a year ago, there's, there's only so many things you can so improve on with the iPad. iPad. I have an like, iPad Air. Square. <laughs> now I have an iPad Air, and it's great. I have an iPad Mini so Retina, which is you great. You may remember this. I so don't have do an iPad. What do you do when you make you the best tablet in the world? How do you, you make, make it, it better? better? How do you make it better? Oh my God! Make it what thinner. It? Of course. It's invisible. You do this. It's a pencil. Uh oh! It's a pencil. <laughs> oh, let's go to the video. Oh my God! They're you really had a making stylus. it thinner. There we go. Let's let's go to the video. I'm, I'm popping. No, stop. Just don't pop yet. <laughs> I did. There you go. Popping. So they shot at me later. Ah, that man. The eye pencil. 
I've been here. That's the same thickness as the uh, iPhone, 6.1 millimeters. This is That's the new the iPad like Air 2. Yeah. It's unbelievably gorgeous, and look how thin it is. Can you even see it? <laughs> it is so. Is that a gold incredible. model? I think it is. And to tell you more AP, about it, 18% like thinner than Phil the Schiller. iPad Air. Phil? Oh. <laughs> Suffer? Yeah. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am so excited to be able to tell you about the you. incredible new. Uh, I need a closer Air look, too. but he looks like it a Norwood three and a half. We have ever made. I would think a four. Just six point one millimeters no. thin. That's eighteen percent thinner than their first iPad Air, which was already twenty percent thinner than the iPad before it. It makes it the world's thinnest tablet. It is incredibly beautiful to hold all day long. So how long before it's just The progress just the team has made over just the last couple of years is unbelievable. When we can Here's roll the original it up, throw first it in our pocket. iPad next to the new iPad Air 2. The new iPad Air 2 is so thin, you can stack two of them and still be thinner than the original iPad. It is amazing. <laughs> what the team has done to pack so much technology and performance into the thinnest iPad is unbelievable. So how did they Mick do Phillips it? in a chat Let's room asked, does it the bend? Display. The display does it bend? is made up of a number of components, primarily the <laughs> LCD, the touch layer, and glass. Still the giant bezel, though, iPad Andrew. Are you surprised no. by that? Thin layer of no. Air between each of those they're, not, they're, they're not doing it yet. not satisfied with that. The team I, see, that's where I'm mad. It's like, make it thinner, and then I want to eliminate that ridiculous white no part. Air gap. That doesn't make any sense. It reduces the internal reflection and makes a sharper image and a thinner display. It makes the graphics and the text feel like they sit. Now, are you going to give us a date on uh, when you think this is available? It's really uh, pre-order is going to be tomorrow. We've now created an anti-reflective comes out when mid surface. or end of the month. This has never no, been comes done out in the following week. Before. Oh. It reduces reflections by 56 percent, making hmm. it even more beautiful as an image. So it is an incredible display. It is the only I, does the other one that have has that? this kind of a surface. I don't think so. Okay, so that's actually tablet. really good. So this would be the best same chip as the iPhone you've ever seen in the thinnest tablet. But there's so much more. Yeah, the uh, iPad 8, 8 Air X. too great. And it starts with the brains inside it. A whole new generation chip, A8X. You've heard of the A8 chip with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and it's blowing people away. Well, this is a new version created specifically for oh, iPad Air 2. It is unbelievable. It's a second generation. 64-bit architecture. It has three billion transistors. The iPad Air had an A7 with one billion transistors. Three billion. It delivers up to 40% faster CPU performance for most of your apps. Some apps can achieve 2x performance in CPU. And the graphics are out of this world. Two and a half times faster what was already the industry-leading graphic performance. 40% faster the CPU. Done. The original iPad started with an A4 chip, and now we're 12 times faster than that with iPad Air oh, 2. Yeah. But check out this graphics performance. We're now at 180 times faster. <laughs> Add to that the So glad the they finally stopped selling the iPad 2. Like metal to let developers get full access to that performance without any software overhead. We're able to now deliver console level graphics in the palm wow. of your hand. Yeah, but what console? And that's console? what a lot of the developers are doing. We're working with game developers, and they're now bringing the engines, not from their mobile gaming, but from their desktop gaming systems right onto iPad. Wow, I've, I've heard great. about this. It's, it's the all this power engines, though, from such a thin the 360 package, PS3 the generation. Sure okay. that you have that great not all day current. battery life. 10, 10 hour battery life. Battery, so you don't have to give up any of that. Along with the A8X, we have the new M8 motion coprocessor. This works to read data from the sensors like the accelerometer and gyroscope, and it instantly calibrates it so all your apps get incredibly accurate data. And there's also the new barometer for resonance. A barometer? Wow. Elevation. 
and developers can take advantage of that. That's yeah, pretty that awesome. Yeah, one of the things that's been rumored for, for the past couple of months the now is that it might the have most about their iPads. I think that's yeah. the Here's first the device with a barometer. Hold on, the camera. camera. Now, some people have been surprised by that, but it really makes a lot of sense. The iPad the is the best viewfinder for composing your photos and your videos. You can see the scene, you can take incredible photos, you can edit them right on the device and share them instantly with people around the world. But it looks like they're showing in these pictures like are mini. And, and videos, no? but developers mm. like taking advantage of these no, you can't I just tell. got an so email from Gazelle about the new iPad. <laughs> on any other platform. Hey, don't just Things sell like it, Josh. Applications for helping yeah. Gazelle coaches it. train their players. They sponsor? Eye. Or consumer apps like Prismo that lets you scan and translate those Samsung documents tablets? on the fly. Or apps like Caribou that let a parent read with FaceTime for children from anywhere around the world. Or Home Styler that lets you create a virtual reality image of your own home then lay out the furniture and interior design of it. Who's going to do that? Well, I got to feng shui my house. Excuse me while I take my iPad the Air out. And they... The so it's an 8 megapixel. Hold, hold on, don't spoil it. Oh, sorry. Jump forward for I'm getting it. It's a full new 8 megapixel. No, I'm not that impressed with the camera. Eh, meh. It's large 1.12 micron pixels. I agree. I don't understand why they couldn't put a 13 megapixel aperture. camera in there. Exactly. Photos, exactly. 1080p. It's always a generation behind. It has a great sensor. It's combined with the Apple And Apple was lens, not always like but that. But really what rounds it out oh. is the brains behind it all the image signal processing that's done in that 8X chip. And it does an incredible job. I'm gonna show you some photos now that were taken with an iPad no Air way. 2, unretouched right off of it, and tell me you're not gonna be blown away that these were taken with an iPad. Look at that photo, that's a beautiful landscape scene. You can see- I think outdoor photos always look HDR, good. Let me see some indoor low light. Exposure. Yeah. Look at the Let me see a birthday party. Sky. Yeah. And it is a remarkable photo. Oh, well, here we go, because I'm going to be on top of the Golden Gate Bridge. Taken with the iPad you bring with you to do work, and you take How did they even take that photo? Oh, my head. What am I doing? The Golden Gate Bridge. You see the incredible accurate color it delivers and the great depth of field. Here's my favorite of the bunch. It's a portrait photo. No way that photo was taken with an iPad. Perfect. That's the actually beautiful. Yeah, that there's effects on that. Photo. Of course, we all love taking macros and showing them to the world. Here's a great one. Look at the oh. level of detail in the feathers. You can't tell. Is that taxidermy or... This is a work. <laughs> Don't worry, it's live. <laughs> For the first time with iPad, you can take large panoramas up to 43 megapixels. So you take your iPad on vacation, you can share your mountain scenery with all your friends. For the first time on iPad, you can take burst mode, mode photos. So taking something that has high-speed action, you can grab it. Just like this photo. That was also rumored. Yeah, isn't that incredible? What? For the first time with the iPad iSight camera, you can do time lapse. So here's a time lapse. It's taken in Venice. You maybe recognize it. I have been now, there's on a group that of waterway. Folks that start coming down together. See, there they are. That Good was the George you. Clooney wedding party that came by as we were shooting that. <laughs> Still waiting for my invitation. God. This we took recently in Albuquerque. At the balloon fiesta, that gathering there. Slow mo. Oh, no, no, not slow mo. Time lapse. That's actually really cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, they're going <laughs> to. These balloons are dying. Also, for the first time on iPad, you can do slow mo videos. So great, this slow mo. Yeah, customers are going to love taking these. This is Watch 120 this. frames per second at 720p. Oh. Oh, 120 frames, not, not 240. It's not 240. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely the slower than the iPhone. You heard that audio. There's now dual microphones to get better quality audio in your videos as well. Finally, that's good. Well, in addition to the all-new iSight camera and all those capabilities, there's a new FaceTime camera on the front side as well. Selfie. A whole new FaceTime camera sensor. has a larger 2.2 aperture. It lets in 80% more light. Interesting to not listen to and Megapixel. Combined with the 8X chip, yeah. you get improved face detection. They know it's terrible. For the first time, you can do burst selfies, which kids love to do. This chip is amazing. It does HDR with a the single kids. image, not combining multiple images, which keeps it really sharp. And you can do videos with HDR as well. So with all these great new cameras, all this great new performance, also faster connectivity too. Better Wi-Fi. iPad Air 2 is faster Wi-Fi. 802.11ac with MIMO. That delivers 2.8 times faster performance, Mimo. up to 866 megabit per second throughput. There's also faster Wait for LTE the pop. with you more ready? bands. Yeah. 
There's up to 150 megabit per second. That's using carrier aggregation. People are going to start talking, LTE speaking in tongues. More than any other tablet. A so it connects at high LTE speeds on more networks around the world. <laughs> Perhaps the most requested feature from customers uh -oh. is Touch ID. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Told you. Now, like many of us, if you have Touch ID on your iPhone, you've probably picked up your iPad and put your finger on the home button, only to see that it doesn't unlock because it's you convenient. didn't have Touch ID. It's, we get used to it so quickly. Well, now yeah, with iPad Air so 2, there is Touch ID, and it reads your fingerprints. <laughs> I'm not being negative. I'm having fun with it. Without having to enter the You're passcode. You're being negative. And it works with our stores, so you can purchase in the iTunes store and the App Store. I mean, these are great it stuff. It works with the new it's, it's iOS 8 developer exactly apps what support Touch it ID, be. so you can unlock Why do all the Evernote to me, or Mint it look or like an Day iPad One Air. Journal. It looks like a your mini, a retina, a mini retina. And as you know, all of us who use iPads, well, we're prodigious shoppers. We love to use our iPad to sit back and huh. surf the web and make purchases, and particularly with all those 675,000 apps. I'm surprised they're not going through apps, this as fast as they did with the iPhone 6 announcement. And yeah. with they went ID, much we'll faster through the Apple iPhone 6 announcement than they are with this purchases. iPad announcement. Now, this isn't for retail point of sale purchase. This is for online purchasing within all the apps that are going to support Apple Pay. Oh, okay, so many of them you could use Apple Pay with the apps. So it would be the best way to shop online. Of course, iPad Air 2 comes with a brand new iOS 8.1 that Craig just showed us. So that means not until Monday at least. Has. Now our developers have had a great time using the performance of the A8, A8, A8X chip and taking advantage of all the power in iPad 2 to do remarkable things. And developers have too. We've given a few of them early access to the iPad oh, Air no, 2 and to see up. what they can do with, it, with their incredible applications. Well, I'd like to show you two of those this morning. The first is a great team. The two, two brothers started a company in Lithuania, and they've had a hit application on OS X called Pixelmator. Perhaps you know it. It's a professional quality image editing application. It's been a big hit on the Mac, and now they're here today to show you the work they're doing on iPad. Can we, like can we Itis to tell you all about have it? have those race car guys again. Do you remember that? Oh, God. Lucky Drive? Yeah. Which is now available for Android as well. Thank you. Uh, after two years of work, we are really excited to show you the new Pixelmator for So iPad Pixelmator, today. this is it's interesting, a is a company that I thought Apple yeah. is looking to we buy because it's basically a competitor, competitor to Photoshop. The Arabian Desert. It's really exciting that we can work so smoothly with large images like this. The new iPad handles those images faster and better than ever before. Two wild and we crazy guys. By using the shadow of the actual oryx in the sand and some text, which will bring in as a new layer. I'd like I mean, to this is pretty it's an incredible. SNL bit right what, now. What's what happening right now is he is actually creating almost like a marketing so, piece on an iPad. That's yeah. right now. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go full screen. I'm telling you, I think Apple's gonna buy this company. And it works fantastic. Look at that. That's over unbelievable. Orders, what's happening right now? We'll take care I'm of blown away. It, but still maintain the background. Look at that. That is two times faster on the new iPad. <laughs> compared that's to that's iPad mind blowing. That's amazing. That might be the best thing I've seen all day. Notice how the texture in the sand is intact even though the oryx is gone. Wow. Let's place the graphic back at the bottom and size it to fit. Now, like this is a, like this is something I would only be able to do with a MacBook computer, and now I'm being able Next, to. It's, like it's to possible now on an iPad. That's pretty the incredible. And darken the edges a bit. It's actually a great we can application. Adjust the depth and strength of the effect. Notice the very fast response time. So that's a quick peek of Pixelmator for iPad coming later this month in the App Store. The power of the new iPad is perfect for the new Pixelmator. We've seen improvement of up to three times in many aspects of the app. It's yeah. a fantastic pairing that oh. will make yeah, it. Yeah, I got to download this. Oh, you. I have it on the, the desktop. <laughs> There's actually a vector uh, app that's out now called Affinity Designer, which is pretty. It's a replacement to Illustrator. Next, there's an exciting new video editing application that has everyone a buzz. It's called Replay. It's from a bunch of brilliant scientists from France. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up Jeff Boudier to show you what they've been up to. I would love them to do really stereotypical caricatures of older people from different countries. 
Like I want him holding like a like a loaf of bread. To create amazingly rich videos without knowing anything about editing. With me, my I'm one of those guys. I know nothing. You want to know we what would be wearing a beret right now? Yeah, I want him wearing a beret. We don't have and a French to do baguette. Anything. Yeah, and a baguette. Like these and a little more curly a mustache. To make a nice movie edit oh, out of all this. this, it would take me hours of work. Oh my right? god, it's just going to blow us away, let's too. Let's select all these clips and see how long Sun it takes. Sunkiss, I'm automating you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This Look is this. incredible. My Look at these effects you can do. My playing. What just happened? In one tap. Oh, did everything. Are you kidding? It auto compiled. Well, every, th this all is my videos, not new. Oh, so it's templated practice, in, you mean? And synchronized mm -hmm. everything to yeah. the beat of the music. Okay, right, let's never. do it again. But try a different style. <laughs> I love this style. Replay runs computer vision algorithms to find the best accent colors. So this is almost like the Zoe camera, I guess, on HTZ. Well, it, it's, it's intelligent enough to put the music and the video together, the depending yeah. on the scene. So it is similar. That's but this style cool. is too romantic. Yeah. Let's try something more vibrant. I mean, it makes it better than just a regular movie. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. I love how Replay picks the background colors to match the videos. Yeah, it's now, I want to pretty intelligent. Slide. Let me show you how easy it is. How about Utah Road Trip? Just as easy. I can add captions, trim videos, or reorder things. The result, again, is instant. We created a custom it's rendering road trip. engine on top of OpenGL. Yes. And with each new processor, Replay gets faster. And with A8X, we get four times faster rendering than on A7. Now, I'm really excited. That Show rendering is very mobile. Yeah. The fact that they can True. do this as quickly as they are doing it is very impressive. It is. See how the light? I mean, in real time, he's doing real time effects too. Yeah, he is. I can even set the lighting color while my movie is playing. Oh my gosh. This it's effect all real time. is called volumetric lighting and replay renders it in real time on the iPad. This is truly desktop class performance. Wow. We believe video creation should be easy and instant. With this new iPad and Metal, our vision They're getting a huge rub here. Reality. Yeah. This new style will be available end of October, and you can get replay for free on the App Store today. Free? We can't oh, wait you to see what you'll ten. create. Wow. Oh, you Thank probably, you. yeah, probably, uh, you know, in app yeah, purchase. It's, it's actually impressive. So, this iPad's pretty powerful. So, those are just two examples from the over 675,000 apps on the App Store that take unique advantage of iPad. And you can see now. Apps are doing things on iPad, on a thin mobile device, that previously would have taken the highest end desktop computers to do. And you can do this anywhere you go. So this is the new iPad Air 2, packed with an incredible range of new technologies and innovation. Next generation retina display with no air gaps and anti-reflective coating. Our second generation 64-bit chip for iPad, the A8X, with 3 billion transistors. The new 8 megapixel eyesight camera and all those incredible features. The new FaceTime HD camera, ultra fast 802.11 AC wireless, and 20 bands of LTE. Did he say waterless? Around the world. I think he did. And of course, the most requested feature, Touch ID. All of this packed into the thinnest iPad we have ever made. Wow. You just have to hold it outside when you get a chance to, to, to see just how incredible this is. It, it will blow you away. So if you want to get one, and if you're like me, you're just dying to, what will it cost? Well, first, it comes in Same silver, price. space gray, and the new gold that you've seen here. And it starts at $499. That's the price of the So that's interesting. IPad they don't Air. have a 32 gigabyte model gigs. for the iPad Air 2. Yeah. $599. Yeah, why isn't it 3264? Because they want you to buy the 699 for 128 gigs. Again, that's kind of a rip off. Less expensive than before. So much more power. Great new features, thinner device, and more affordable. There are also cellular versions for $130 more, and that is the new iPad Air 2. At the same time, <gasps> we have an update today for iPad Mini as well. We call it <gasps> iPad I'm Mini popping. 3. It's the third generation of iPad Mini. It comes in silver, space gray, and gold. Ugh. And of course, it includes the new Touch ID. Feature By the way, the well. iPad Mini 2 and the iPad Air are sticking around. They're dropping down 100 bucks. 
Interesting. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine. New memory configurations, and have cellular versions as well. Uh, and both. It, it still only iPad has a Air five two, megapixel iPad eyesight three, camera. Made in the most yeah, environmentally terrible. friendly way possible. I don't understand. But they're they're really not this, in, no, 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 it's not the mini that's in the iPad Air. It's really just a smaller version. So oh, this is really confusing the amount of different models two, they have now. So they just skipped over. Here we go. Mini 2 and iPad Air in the line and reduce them by $100. So oh, everyone this has is so some many. Each price point. So those are more affordable as well. And the original iPad Mini, we're going to continue to sell it now at an all new price of just $249. Previously, it was $299. <laughs> That's so not that bad. Now means our no, it's has the lowest price point ever for iPad, $249. It means iPad 2, Mini 2, and iPad Air have been reduced by $100. We have an all-new iPad Mini 3 and all-new iPad Air 2 at the high end with more features and capabilities in the thinnest iPad we've ever offered. So a lot of changes up oh. and down the entire line. You're right, Andrew. To get iPad Mini 3 and iPad Air 2, you can start to order them tomorrow. We'll take pre-orders tomorrow, October that was 17th, right again. and they'll begin to yep. ship by the end of next, next week. Next week. Yeah. So that's iPad. So uh, basically a refresh. I think this graphic says a lot in a very simple image about the things we create, how beautiful they are. Yeah, Nikki says that it? They are at each I category. think, is this it? They're and done? Each one is pushing on yeah. the next. No, to there's got to be an iMac. Do even more. As no. an iPad continues to evolve and challenge what a computer can be that you can hold all day long, it then challenges us at the higher end to move those forward as well. Good. And here nobody's we go. better at that than Apple. Right, here <gasps> we go. Let's talk a little bit. No bezel. Are you going to pop it? Hold on. We have the no, best I don't know. I'm just guessing. Ever had. Guessing. It's the 30th birthday of the Mac this year, and these are the best ever. You're going to pop. And the results it. are fantastic. If you look at Mac compared to the rest of the industry, this is based on the last quarter. The Mac grew 18% year over year, while the rest of the industry didn't do as well. And the reason is very simple. Our customers love their Macs. Because you guys suck. This summer, suck. we updated MacBook <laughs> Air. It got faster, better battery life, better value. People bought them like crazy, and, and the reviews were off the charts. I think this one said the it MacBook best. Air is the Wall Street Paul Journal. Rock. The MacBook Air is the best laptop ever made. And who are we to argue? <laughs> For customers who want a higher level of performance, they love the MacBook Pro. It delivers all day battery life, incredible performance, and best of all, that beautiful retina display. Now, it's been right. really fun to watch the, the migration of the MacBook retina display. It started with iPhone, moved into iPod Touch, and moved into iPad and then into the Mac with the MacBook Pro. Well, today, we're really oh. happy for you to see the continued march of this incredible Retina technology and the next step we're going to take with it. Oh. So what do you guys think? iMac? Retina iMac? It has to be, right? Yeah. It's the only one without it. Please have no bezel. Though. Well, the Air amazing. doesn't have it. Oh, there's still bezel on that laptop right there. And on the iMac. Yep. It's the same body. Same body. Right now. That's it. Uh, by the way, This Week in Radio Tech will be live tonight at 6 p.m. They're moving to a new time slot. So, yes. Whoa. We are so excited to tell there. you about the all-new iMac with Retina display. There has never been a desktop display like this. It is simply stunning. You have never seen a level of detail in a desktop display as you'll see with this iMac. It is truly remarkable. It's 5K. Is it? It's a 27-inch display that has 5,120 pixels by 2,880 5,120 by 2,880. Really fast with math. You know, that is an insane. <laughs> Jeez. 14. So is that 5K? Yeah. Million pixels on one display. 
So they the skipped 4K. It's over. Highest resolution display. It's an incredible feat of engineering. What was the previous the uh, resolution on the iMac? Display. 1080? So to put it in context, I think it was 2880 by 1440. Right? They're 1920 by 1080. Let's overlay those oh pixels my gosh. on top of the Retina 5K display. <laughs> there are seven times more pixels on the Retina 5K display than on your HDTV. So they passed 4K. And let's compare that to the new standard 4K digital cinema. And there it is, 496 by 2160. The retina display still has 67% more <laughs> pixels than that. It is stunning. What's more remarkable is the work the engineering team to fit those 14.7 mi million pixels Why into the bezel, our beautiful though? iMac design. It's just sure thing. five <sighs> millimeters thin. It's an incredible feat of engineering. It took a lot of invention. It starts with the chip that controls the display. It's called a timing controller, or TCON. One didn't exist to drive this display quickly and efficiently, so our team at the end uses 30% less energy. It started with having to create a new material, oxide TFT, to be able to charge those pixels quickly and evenly across the whole display. It meant taking technology from our Retina iPad display, organic passivation, to reduce crosstalk because those pixels are getting so close together to keep the image really sharp and beautiful. It took building a new backlight technology, an LED backlight, that's just as bright as previously, but consumes less power and is thinner. And all put together, this new display with four times the number of pixels of the previous version uses almost a third less energy. That's incredible work. And to make it even more beautiful, we use our Apple photo alignment technology to give higher contrast ratios on axis and a new compensation film so it looks better off axis too. It mm. is a remarkable feat of engineering and the most beautiful desktop display for everything you do. When you read text, it looks incredible crisp and sharp with magazine quality. If you work with photos, you'll have never worked at a desktop display with this level of detail in your photos. And if you love to edit video like here in Final Cut Pro, you've never had the ability to do 4K video editing, pixel for pixel, with room left over for your bins and timelines. And if you're Craig and you've worked so hard on a beautiful version of OS X, there has never been a display to show off that great new user interface as beautiful as this new Retina 5K display. We have a brief video to tell you a little bit more Thank about Thank you for it. that video. <laughs> the Mac enables people to do this guy wearing a thing. piece, Andrew? And for many people, uh, it's the I don't most know. important creative tool that they Could use. Be. And what we really yeah, he is. Is making yeah. it better. Uh, I, allegedly. IPad, the experience allegedly. In my, in my humble opinion. And now we're really proud to introduce the first. I'm so proud of you. With the you were able to spot display. it. Display. Thank you. With so is there any 5K stuff we can look at out there? Or no. It gives the ultimate all-in-one computer the ultimate display. And it means you see incredible detail on a scale that just hasn't been done before on a desktop. We started by moving to an oxide TFT or thin film transistor panel. Oxide TFT is needed to get these many millions of pixels to charge quicker and then stay charged longer. RGB. We manufactured an oxide TFT based display more precisely than had ever been done before. One of the great results is the vivid brightness you see across the whole screen. Communicating to all of those pixels requires a lot of brain power. In a display, it's called the timing controller, or TCON. The TCON tells every pixel what to do and when to do it. For this new retina display, a TCON didn't exist that could do the job. We had to create it. This single, incredibly advanced chip is responsible for directing millions of pixels. Whether you're looking at photos, or text, or even editing 4K video, the picture is stunning. We've also improved the contrast ratio. So you'll get brighter whites and darker blacks from any viewing angle. When I'm working on imagery, I need to see the details in it to make accurate judgments of color and exposure to be able to make it look on screen exactly how it appeared to me when I saw it in reality. For this display to be possible, millions of pixels have to be driven with more energy efficiency. We use power-saving LEDs and organic passivation, which enables a clear, accurate signal to be sent to each pixel. 
This dramatically increases the display's performance and image quality, while actually decreasing its power usage by 30%. Every photograph I shoot, there's so much work to be done before it's really finished. To get there, the tools I use need to be powerful and precise. And now that I've had a chance to experience the sharpness and the resolution and the incredible tonal range in the new iMac, I just can't imagine a better tool for the work I do. With its stunning Retina 5K display and all of this new capability, the new 27-inch iMac is by far the most amazing iMac we've ever built. So not only have we built an iMac with the most incredible display we've ever made, but up throughout the product line, we've updated everything to make it the best iMac ever. So if you look inside it, it has the fastest chips we've ever put in. Let's see what uh, i5 will starting. Intel quad core i5, but upgradable to 4 gigahertz yeah. i7, the Been fastest known. ever in an iMac. The graphics have a Radeon uh, R9 AMD. M2 290X, upgradable to a 295X. So how fast NVIDIA is that? Snob. The previous fastest chip in an iMac was 2.4 teraflops of compute power. Not bad. This is 3.5 teraflops, 4, 45% faster than the previous version. But how many people I actually know what a well freaking teraflop is? Thunderbolt 2. Is. Thunderbolt 20 two. megabit per second bandwidth per port. It's faster storage. Standard terabyte fusion drive. And it's all built Standard. together. That's pretty good. Like all of our products, in the most environmentally friendly manner, including supporting the latest Energy Star 6.1. So it's a very efficient desktop product. So what does this amazing state-of-the-art new iMac cost? Oh well, let's, let's make a comparison. If you've ever tried oh, to buy a, a high-end display, for example, a new 4K IPS TFT display, not quite as many pixels as the yeah, iMac, not expensive. quite as beautiful a display, but still not bad, you know that these range in the price of $3,000 or more. Oh, this isn't going to be like so that's $19.99? That's really excited to tell you the new iMac with Retina 5K display is going to cost $24.99. Oh, that is way too expensive. I thought the iMac was like the only one. Well, wait, this is a 27 inch. And for that, we throw in an entire I... computer. It's got a three and a half. Yeah, but the 27 inch I bought was, standard, I think, 2199. Nine chip, eight gigs of memory, and a terabyte fusion drive. So, oh wait, there's a low end. Oh no, it that's the regular 27 inch is 17.99. Yeah. So that is the new iMac with oh. Retina display. Ah, it's, it's too expensive for me. I don't like it. Why? It's too expensive? 24.99. A new iMac with Retina 5 Could you imagine the PC you could build at 24.99? I can't wait for you all to see it. Yeah. Experience the incredible images that it produces. I bet there has never been a heck of a PC for 2500. I think it's a perfect fitting to the 30th birthday of Shipping today, Andrew. We have one other small update today. Oh. And that's a computer that a lot of our customers love. Oh, Mac Mini. We're getting the very first Mac. Interesting. It's called Mac Mini. Perhaps you've added one to your own home network. But we have a whole new version today. It's updated with faster wow. processors, right. fourth generation Intel Core processors, faster graphics, Intel Iris, and HD nice. Graphics 5000, faster storage, PCIe based. But see, for this storage, to come out, I would like them to release a 5K monitor then. AC, and now no? there's two Thunderbolt. Two ports. Well, so it's there, there was the Chairman, needed, another chairman that was in, and they design. said that Dell has a 5K ultra sharp monitor that they're releasing. It is compacted as the oh, world's okay. most energy efficient desktop computer, which is really five ninety nine. That is a incredible. Lot of oh, they're dropping it. Mac. Previously, Mac Mini started at five ninety nine. It's pretty incredible. Even faster, more capable Mac Mini starts at just four ninety nine. That's actually very good. That is incredible price for that. That's a decent price point, you know. That might be their best price point to have. And it's shipping today as well. So that's our update. So no that. new laptop? Let me turn it back to Tim. They just updated the MacBook Air, so. What do you think? Yeah, but the Pro Very is cool stuff. This is the strongest lineup of products that Apple has ever had. Oh, come on. And we believe that each one of these play a very important role. People need different types of technology for the way they live their lives. We all do different things. 
In fact, many of us and many of our customers use more than one of our products every day. Sometimes you want to sit at your desk in front of a huge, beautiful, <gasps> immersive screen packed with powerful technology. Apple TV. The real and Apple TV. Much better today with the Retina 5K screen for iMac. Sometimes you want to take that powerful technology with you wherever you go. Yeah. And we've made our notebooks even better this year with MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. What? Sometimes you want to be close to your content, touching it. Uh, we've made that experience even better today uh, with the iPad Air 2. Is this just the wrap-up? I think it is. But it well, be no answer to the surface. Sometimes you want to hold that powerful technology in the palm of your hand. I did, I did not anticipate no a, a Mac Pro. For your hand I don't think they want to enter that market right now. An iPhone 6 Plus. They already have a Mac Pro. What are you talking uh, I'm about? I'm sorry, uh, iPad Air Pro or an iPad an Pro. iPad Pro. Yeah. That powerful technology. Oh, God. Right He's putting over his product again. Yeah. Is he wearing one? This incredible lineup of products and the ecosystem that supports them is something only Apple can create. John, who manufactures They're their displays? Is it them or products individually? Ah, uh, it could be Sharp. But they're also designed to work together seamlessly. And because we create both the hardware and the software, we can deliver something that no one else can do. A simple, intuitive, and yes, a magical experience for our customers. Oh, drink it up. Uh, here we go. <laughs> this is our vision of personal technology. And we are just getting started. Oh, of course. I'd like to thank all the teams it's at Apple over. that have worked so hard for not only this year, but $2,500 iMac. is multi years of work to bring these products out on top of all the other things that you've seen during the day. They are doing the best work of their lives. And I and the executive team really appreciate it. invite all of you to come across the hall yep. to get your eyes I'm gonna murder all of you. on this Retina 5K display. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. You're I'm gonna show gonna you my watch that you can't touch. And to hold the iPad Air and see how thin and powerful it is. We've also have a station set up next door so that you can try out Apple Pay if you haven't tried it yet. My you mom also baked a couple pies. We have pies for everybody. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. That's it. So that's it, guys. Uh, that was the announcement. We got the iPad Air 2. Mm -hmm. We got uh, a new mini, iPad mini, which mini they totally jumped over, mini 3. We got a new iMac starting price at $2,500, $2,499. It's a 5K display, uh, Core i5 processor to begin, goes all the way up to an i7 with 4 gigahertz. And uh, they went over some software stuff. Uh, it was what it was. <laughs> it's exactly what everybody thought it would be. We get Yosemite today. Yosemite's coming out today. Yeah, I wonder what time. Historically, what have they done with the time for these things? I usually think it's around like 5, 6, 7 o'clock Eastern time. Because I got a format, if that's the case. Yeah, I have a lot to do. Yeah, I don't know what are you guys gonna buy anything. No, With no. What money? Exactly. I, I, there's nothing that's jumping at me that I. It's like a must-have here. Uh, like the the one thing that I've really been looking, have been wanting from Apple for the past couple of years, it's a new uh, uh, Apple TV. Yeah, which I that think everybody's not been, been updated. updated in get the two fire. Years. Well, you know what the problem with the Apple TV is. Uh, in my opinion, I think they're having issues with. 
getting these, uh, getting the deals. At this point, I think it's dead. I don't think it's dead. I think they're they're going to stick to it. But I, I think the problem with it is that they are not dedicating the time because they don't have the content deals. When they get the content deals, it's going to make sense for them to release an Apple TV, a new one. And yeah, they can do not... that with software. That's software. I'm talking about hardware. Yeah, but what do you, what would you like from an Apple TV? I mean, I know what I would like. Something better than the Roku. Something faster. <laughs> yeah. Roku I, is even even the Roku three is still kind of. How about the Nexus box, which we'll probably talk about tomorrow on Tech News Weekly? But uh, that Nexus box is not bad. Ninety nine bucks, and you could game on there. You could buy a controller. It be it's a console essentially. Whoop! Fire TV. TV. Fire TV is <laughs> so fast. I love it. Yeah, but you also like that Ouya, whatever that thing was. No. That was you no. love that thing. <laughs> I like it for old games. That's all I like it for. I think this was a fine announcement. This was everything that they should have been announcing. It, it, this is their holiday lineup. This is what they're releasing. Uh, that display is stunning. I mean, that that's for me. I wouldn't get it, but the, the 5K uh, iMac, it's quite impressive. I, I, I think what sours me is the fact that I feel as though. These updates should have been a year ago. I, I, case, I think though. that's what gets me the true. most out of all of this is, is that I, I understand that this is evolutionary, but it almost feels as though they're still a year behind in these updates where this is stuff that everybody can guess. It's always th- what's been rumored. Why don't we have this stuff a, a year earlier? That's what it is. It, it, it's the sense of all these things that they're coming out with feel as though they're a year late. If that makes any sense. No, I mean, listen, is that just the case? That's how it is. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading yeah. chat. I'm, I'm fighting with somebody. <laughs> You're trolling someone. All right, All right. Now, if money's not an option, I'd order an iPad Air 2 right now and an, and an iMac right now. And, and just throw in a Mac Mini, too, because that was a great product. But... Otherwise, I have to agree with John. I think this is stuff that's like, I don't understand why this wasn't a year ago, but I understand marketing-wise why it's this way, but it sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. It is what it is. (laughs) It is what it is. Yeah, so overall, it was exactly what it should have been. And everyone watching this, the only difference. Let let me just say this. Let, Let me just explain this. When... When a company releases a product, right, like when Asus does it, when Lenovo does it, they have not, they don't do a big hoopla like this for the most part. They attempt it many times, but when Asus is updating their, you know, laptop lineup, you're getting some of this stuff, but they they do quiet updates. Apple doesn't really do that. It's once in a while you get a quiet update, but most of the time you're getting, you know, it's an event. Uh, what I would love to see, uh, and Brandon says, next year they will have a 5K display. Why haven't they updated the displays? I would love to see a 5K display for editors. I agree. Because they have, I mean, if you think about it, they have the Mac Pro, which is for the Pro the pro user. So why don't they have a 5K display for that? I, you know what? We probably for, will see for, that. For a MacBook? For a Mac? No, no, no. For, no, the Mac Pro. For a Mac Pro. Because you know what it is? They, have, they said that they have one coming out, didn't they? Andrew, I I'll don't tell remember you why. that. No. Yeah. yeah. Here's the reason why it's because these guys who are using Mac Pros who are doing video editing, they're able to buy these big, massive 30 inch 4K displays right now. So there's really no need. I don't think Apple can go into that market and be successful. Oh, I think Apple would do just fine. I mean, think about it. If you're buying a Mac Pro, you probably need a display also. Yeah. And they're beautiful but, displays. I don't. It, you're right. I, I don't get it. They're beautiful displays. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's it for today, uh, for this show. But if you're watching live, we have a bunch of shows here on the network. Uh, coming up at 3.30, we have Matt Men. Yes. At 5 o'clock, we have Behind a Counter. And yes. And at, at its new time slot, guys, This Week in Radio Tech at 6 p.m. I'll be there watching all three. Wonderful. Uh, at Suncast on Twitter, you can follow him. At Andrew Zarian for me, and of course, at Culmination for uh, for Josh. 
Say hi to your uh, TV star sister. Yes, everyone. The McCarthy's on CBS this fall at 9.30 p.m. Thursdays. I'm very excited for that. I'm st- Yeah. Could you tell I'm not that excited? Uh, when is she coming on the free-for-all? I, well, the problem is we have to pick a week that you're doing it and she's not on because she okay. films the show at the same time. So All right. It's a bit of a problem. Awesome. All, All right. right. All right, guys. That's it. Oh, ooh, it is not available yet. I was about to say that if you go to apple.com slash OSX, Stephen Haywood posted in the chat. Uh, it says upgrade now and it does nothing <laughs> when, <he> goes, <laughs> when it goes into the Mac store. So I guess they're adding it as we speak. Uh, All right, guys. See you all later.